Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Today's uh, episode is going to be the bug out walk test with the half track by Ebola stock. Uh, today's bag is obviously bigger than the Hazard 4, and there is more weight in here. There's about 46 pounds of gear in here, which is uh, mostly camera gear, my computer, and a couple everyday carries. Uh, so, with that being said, this bag is heavier and uh, it's going to be a little more challenged with my uh, walk time, especially when I hit the uh, the inclines. So this bag, you've seen on many videos before on my outings uh, as my first one of my first bug out bags. This bag is pretty awesome, but now we're going to do the three mile test with it today. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm around the halfway point, give or take. Uh, I didn't hit the bridge yet like I normally do which would be the halfway point, but I'm starting here because it's a little more quiet and less windy. So anyway, we're about a little over a mile and a half. The pack is still feeling good on my back. I did not buckle the waist straps. If you remember in my last video, I said buckling the waist straps early or late depends upon how good of a bag or how good the shoulder straps are. These shoulder straps are awesome. They do the job. Uh, I am very impressed with Ebola stocks shoulder straps doesn't matter what the bag is so I didn't put the, the waist strap on yet but I probably will because I am starting to feel the weight uh, digging in my shoulders so other than that again 46 pounds of gear this bag is holding up pretty well stay tuned One of the most interesting places I've walked by, which is Yankee Stadium. It's a nice little thing to see one when you're walking past it. So I still haven't put the uh, waist straps on. I'm headed up this hill again. This fucking hill. It's probably going to give me a heart attack one day. Anyway, I am going to do a video on getting in better shape. Uh, notice while I was walking, breathing a little hard, I do have 46 pounds of gear in my back, but it's not really an excuse. Now, when you're bugging out, you should have way less weight than 46 pounds, right? Supposed to be 20% of your body weight. So that being said, if you're going to train, you train a little heavier, like I have in my pack. So when you drop down to the weight you're supposed to be carrying, it feels like pillows on your back. All right, I'm over-exaggerating, but you get what I mean. So the fitness thing will be a separate video. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm at my destination. I'm, I'm, I'm here, and the bag held up well. The bag is a sturdy bag. You've all known this. You've seen this in other reviews, so now you know what this bag does in a three mile walk, let alone whatever you have to walk when you're bugging out. Uh, that being said, as you can see here, the bag fits me well. It rides the way I want to ride. Uh, it rides the way I want it to ride on my back. It holds up really good. Um, I can't say any more about this bag and after doing a three mile walk with this bag, which I've done before, it's an awesome bag. I swear by this bag and if you're a bigger guy, get this bag. All right, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also like and subscribe to my outdoor channel. And if you don't mind and you're into photography, you can head over to The Angry Lensman channel and like and subscribe to that. All right, guys, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. Thank you for watching.